friendship between people. Mm. And she said, Tymoshenko said that Putin wants to redraw the map of the world through wars, mass murder, and blood. Wow. Could you imagine? And, they, and this is, and all, and all of the American, you know, the senators, and they all go there and they would take photographs with her and she's in Germany with Merkel and, and they're all bowing down to her. This, you know, by the way, I've come up with a campaign slogan for 2016 and she fits part of it. You could do this in a country of your choice. Charles Manson for president. <laughs> Enough of these psychopaths that are really psychopaths and they try to, it's really in the closet and they try to behave like normal human beings when they're really psychopaths. So I said, let's just put it out there so that we're not, you know, don't have any illusions of who's running the show. Because anybody that speaks these words is out of their mind. And then if you go, of course, it's not in the U.S. media talking about psychopaths, U.S. human rights record chastised in U.N. report. Human rights company, UN, UN, UN Human Rights Committee raises concerns over U.S. torture, drone strikes, the death penalty, and NSA data collection. So why pretend that Obama and Bush and Clinton and oh, Condoleezza Rice is out there shooting her mouth off again, Rumsfeld, why pretend that these are normal human beings when they're mentally deranged and they're psychopaths because they're in favor of killing other people under a camouflage of being normal? So I say Charles Manson for 2016. <laughs> well, you know, uh, they're not calling them psychopaths. They're calling them technocrats. That's what they're referring to Yachts as. Comparing him to Mario Monti, the guy that Nigel Farage said, you know, who are you to come into a country that where they've got a democratically elected leadership? Who are you to come in as a Goldman Sachs banker and start dictating terms to them? But that's exactly what Yachts is going to do for the State Department, for the banks that run the State Department, for the banks that run the IMF. Exactly. They're doing it. And yeah. they're doing it everywhere. And you mean you mean three card Monty, of course. <laughs> That's right. And again, yeah. you know the, the Italians had. That's a better name than Super Mario. They called him Super Mario. I like the three card Monty. That's much better. <laughs> they they had um, the Italians had three new prime ministers. None of them have been elected. Yeah. Monty yeah. Letta, and now you got Renzi over there, Fonzi, that uh, the, the new Joker over there. And talking about psychopaths, I love this one. Everybody loves Jimmy Carter, that nice peanut farmer, <laughs> the deacon, you know, the man of God. Listen to this. This was from Al Jazeera three days ago. He's talking about whether or not we should supply arms to Ukrainians. He goes, I think it, it, uh, Russia needs to be stopped at this point. I don't think we need to equivocate about the prohibition against Putin's moving military forces into other parts of eastern Ukraine. I had the same challenges to face when I was president. Now, I am going to read you the words of a sociopath and a psychopath. During Christmas week of 1979, the Soviets moved massive numbers of troops into Afghanistan. And they occupied Afghanistan, and I had to stop them from going <laughs> further. So I did everything I could. I withdrew my ambassador from Moscow, not ours, my. Yeah. I declared a grain embargo against them. I agreed with Congress and the American Olympic Committee not going to the 1980 Summer Olympics. And I began to give weapons, and check this out, girls and boys, to the freedom fighters in Afghanistan, secretly. And we used all Russian-made weapons so that they couldn't accuse us of doing it. Wow. This 
is a disgrace. It is. We're going to be right back. Should... Hang on, Gerald. we got to take a break. We're going to be right back with Gerald Salenti. I want to get your take, Gerald, on what's going on in Turkey, this false flag that was revealed and the media's reaction to it. We'll be right back with Gerald Salenti talking about gold, the economy, and false flags. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Attention gun owners. It's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to infidelbodyarmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L bodyarmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. I've got Gerald Salenti on the line, and we're talking about economic issues as well as global political issues. Now, Gerald, this just came out. I'm seeing that um, the Japanese are really stepping up their purchases of gold. One store has reported that their gold sales are up 500% this month. One of the things they're speculating might be driving this is an increase in the Japanese sales tax. 
And that's dropping household spending, household income. And people are now, instead of spending money, they're stocking up on gold. What do you think about gold right now? Well, I'm still, you know, long term, I'm bullish on gold. Uh, you know, it's uh, why is the market going up as we speak? Because there's speculation that not more than speculation is that the Chinese are going to be juicing more stimulus into their economy because it's going down, despite them saying that they weren't going to for the last six months. And the same thing now with the ECB. They're also talking about a quantitative easing and more stimulus. They're even talking of negative interest rates. In other words, the big banks are going to have to pay the European Central Bank to hold their dough. <laughs> so they're bringing it. That's how bad it all is. But, you know, David, I just want to fi finish with this Jimmy Carter mm -hmm. moment. Sure. He keeps using the word freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. These were the Mujahideen. <laughs> These were the Osama bin Ladens that we the people were giving money to under a big lie, as he point pointed out. They did it in secret. They, we bought Russian weapons to give to them so we couldn't be accused of interfering in, in Afghanistan. This guy should be brought up on war crime charges, along with all of the rest of them. Yeah, it's, it's a bipartisan thing, isn't it? It's not just Jimmy Carter. It's also Ronald Reagan helping the Mujahideen, which then we now know as Al-Qaeda, giving them their start. Exactly. And they brag about it. Yeah. And every word, I kept reading all those eyes, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I. And that's the way they all act, whether they're the president or whether they're Kerry talking to you like this. That all we are are a bunch of serfs and slaves, and they are in charge of the whole show like you i was listening to what they did to that poor family that had that bus company yeah and then you pick up the papers financial times headline banks hit by 100 billion dollars in u.s legal settlements wow. since crisis wow a hundred billion dollars last year by the way the six major banks they got a profit of 76 billion but I digress not one head rolls but you better fill out those logs and don't jaywalk yeah. you saw what they did to that girl down in your territory oh, over yeah. there oh yeah you know oh yeah stay in line for the minor okay. offenses, they, 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 they shut your businesses down. They beat you up on the streets. They shoot you on the streets for minor violations. Look at the guy in Albuquerque. What was I he know. doing? He was camping out. That's a capital offense now because, you know, I don't understand what's going on, but they get increasingly draconian. You're talking about how egotistical they are. I think a good measure of that is the executive orders. Look at how they've gone up exponentially under each president. I know. And, and again... I've said this to the beginning, when the first, it happened under Bush with too big to fail. There, in capitalism, there's no such thing as too big to fail. All right. You rise and fall on your own merits. And I said at that time, people, and then when Obama came in, he's communist, he's Marxist. No, it's fascist. Yes. It's the merger of state and corporate powers. You're seeing it over there right now in Ukraine. It's fascism. Fascism has taken over this country. Oh, and by the way, did you see that re reception that Obama got in Brussels? After <laughs> he, he was just over there? And he talked about um, how the United States is really changing its NSA and spying. And the room is filled with reporters. Everybody should try to look at this one up. It's a real good one. Barely got an applause. Yeah, they're not the buying Europe it. And, and, and the Europeans, and I remember when Obama got elected, I, and I getting interviewed all over the world, he was going to be the salvation. That's right. The savior. Hang on, Gerald. we got to take a break. We're going to be right back with Gerald Salenti. He was talking about economic fascism. You know what this looks like? Take a look at this article from InfoWars. Auto insurance company tracks drivers by GPS and charges per mile driven. We're going to talk about that. 
the economic fascism that is rolling through America and the corporatists and criminals running this government. We'll be right back. We're on the march.